Well, I think it's it's an interesting development, and I think you know I think we should remind people it's a pilot, uh, and it's about learning. Um, but I think it's an important learning for what the future opportunity might be uh, in public transport. Uh, I mean, in in the longer term, um, where we're here today is is the what I would call the back end of our business. That's not the customer facing end. I mean, already you can see opportunities. Uh, to, you know, to better control what happens in a, in a tight area like this where we're trying to move a lot of vehicles at, at certain times of the day to, to fuel them, to wash them, to park them. Uh, and that technology, I think, will be able to, to help in that. In the longer term, uh, much said about autonomous vehicles and going into uh, you know, passenger service, um, I think... You know, there's no doubt that technology will advance that that, that could be an option. Remembering, of course, though, that the, the driver and the people bit of our business is fundamental to, to I think, our role in the community. A lot of the things we do as a bus driver, um, outside of driving, will remain the same. Uh, interacting with passengers, um, boarding, alighting, wheelchair users, lost property, incidents, diversions. A lot of them things will be the same. The recurring stuff, turning the wheel, pressing the brake, accelerator. Obviously, the technology we're seeing today is going to, to change the way we do that. Yeah, yeah it's kind of all, all the things you don't expect to do. For example, not touching the brake, not touching the wheel. It's all the things you're trained to do. Yeah. And you're having to train yourself not to and to trust the technology. Yeah. But by the same token, be there to, to take over should that technology not do what it's been um, programmed to do. Yeah. So you're quite impressed with it? Very impressed, yeah, yeah. very impressed.